Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I mean, it's money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, NFL, week number 10, it's Thursday night football. We got Bengals going into Baltimore. Uh, second time they're facing this year. Uh, quick look at the lines, and then I got a little game breakdown and some player props, as always. Uh, plus three, Bengals as the underdog, plus 130, and uh, total 46. Line did bump up, plus six. Total went up a little, 52 and a half, and uh, odds changed, obviously. Plus 220. 230 is the best you can find it if you look in the underdog round. And uh, plus six. But uh, I got a little breakdown. Let's get into that. All right. We've got an AFC North battle Thursday night football. We got Bengals 4 and 5 record. Coach Zach Taylor, offensive minded coach, going against the Ravens. 6 and 3 record. John Harbaugh was the coach. Uh, both teams one and one in their last two games, coming off a win. Bengals had a rough start, started zero and three, but they have won four out of the last six. Ravens, rough start too, started zero and two. Uh, six out of the last seven, they have won. Bengals ranked twenty seventh in rushing yards allowed, uh, ninety four yards a game. Uh, excuse me. 27th in rushing yards, getting 94 yards a game. They rank 18th in defensive rushing, allowing 130 yards. Ravens rank number one in rushing, uh, 191 yards a game they're getting, and they're ranked number one in rushing defense, giving up just 75 yards. Uh, you can actually see that right here. And then right over here would be Baltimore offense and then Cincy defense. Um, pass game, which would be right here. Cincinnati is ranked number seventh in offensive, getting 236 yards a game. Baltimore's defense in the pass game is ranked 32nd. It's just last, All right, giving up 280 yards. As well as Baltimore's offense in the pass game, Ranked number three, getting 254 yards. And since he is ranked 17th in pass defense, giving up 212 yards. Uh, to me, it could be a little miscued for Baltimore. I mean, Baltimore's safeties and corners aren't that good besides Humphreys. But I think it's that bad because they got such a good run defense and uh, teams are passing against them more. As well as if you can't run the ball against a team or don't have a good run team, uh, an extension of the run game would be check down screens, which tally on the, the passing side of the game. Uh, both teams have good kickers. Uh, Baltimore, uh, Baltimore got Tucker. He's 15 of 19 for the year. Struggling beyond 50. He's 2 of 5. And then uh, McFerrin. For Cincy, he's 13 to 17 for the year and uh, three or six from beyond 50. It's crazy nowadays. We're talking like you're not a good kicker if you can't kick past 50. Uh, good idea if you guys want to run down this when you look at it a little. You can just rewind it. It's got a bunch of good stats and stuff. All right, uh, you know, Cincinnati is ranked number two in touchdowns. Uh, and Baltimore is ranked number one in touchdowns. I think that's why the total is so high. I think that's going to be a little different as well. Uh, since he had two games with five touchdowns in each game. So I think uh, – Numbers a little miscrewed too. 
Uh, also, since you got a bunch of injuries, got a whole list up here, but I'll just read through the important ones that I think. Uh, DJ Hill, defensive tackle. Uh, they lost Moss, their running back. He's out. Their running back that they have now, Brown. Uh, he's going to play, but he's got hurt ribs. Uh, their left tackle, uh, Orlando, I think his name is Brown, too. Uh, he might not play. Eric All, their, uh, their fullback, they just lost. Now, he only had like 20 catches for the year and not many runs, but he did a lot for them. Uh, he's a real big guy, a lot of blocking, picking up the blitz, so they're definitely going to notice he's gone. Uh, Higgins so far hasn't been ruled out, but he hasn't practiced all week. He missed last game. He's probably going to miss this game. Um Yeah, as I was saying before, I got it right here. Burroughs has 20 passing TDs, but he had two games with five. So 10 TDs in all the rest of the game, so it could be a little different. Uh, Baltimore got a couple injuries. Nothing crazy, crazy. Uh, the defensive tackle got put on the IR. That's the only thing I really got written down. Well, you guys can scroll through that. Uh, a lot of people are looking at this game to go two different ways. Uh, to the over, have a bunch of high scoring, um, kind of like the last game. Uh, or some people going towards the under. Uh, I'm in the middle, thinking it might be under. But um, these two teams have played each other so much that right from the rip, it's going to be like a playoff game from like a battle. I think it's going to be low scoring. Normally, when two teams play each other by halftime, they come back and do adjustments, and then the game gets tighter. I think this game's going to be like that the whole way. Uh, you know, let's see what happens. I got a few player props. Let's get into them. First up, uh, I'll run through a couple. I only got a few plays. Uh, Chase Brown. Now, Bengals did get another running back. Uh, so he'll be subbed in a little bit. He's uh, He came from the Bears. I can't think of his name. Uh, but this is going to be the main back. Uh, going against the number one run defense. Uh, he's only clear. I want, I'm going under 60 yards. So I got him on DraftKings. Uh What they do? They dropped the number. 60 and a half, I got it at a little bit ago. I was, yeah, they might have dropped it 56 and a half. See, the number's going down, so I guess I'm in the right direction. But, uh, yeah, get it as high as you can. Uh, he's only cleared this number, even with the habit at now, 56 and a half. He's only cleared it three times. That was against Vegas. He had a crazy game. Vegas is almost last in uh, Russian defense. Carolina, same thing, and Washington, both all bad run defenses. Um, it's just, you know, as the numbers say, plus six, plus six and a half, Bengals are going to be playing from behind. They're going to be looking to throw more anyway. Uh, Brown has failed to exceed 56 and a half in seven, of his, uh, in seven straight games versus the top five defense, uh, top ten defense for rushing yards. 21.9 rushing yards a game. Mind you, he was the second back. Now he's back one. But I don't think it's going to work. Uh, overall, like we said, rank number one to the running back position, rank number two, giving up 58 yards. So, yeah, they're in trouble. Uh, it's just the way it's my read. It's the way I think it's going to happen. Try to get the number as high as you can. Brown. I don't know if I called him Chris Brown before. And the running is for under. Uh, on the screen it said over, but my thing did say under. Uh, receiving yards. I got this at 23. It just went to 22 and a half. Uh, over. Same thing is what I'm trying to say. is uh, 
to go over this last game. Uh, obviously, he's, like I said, he's getting more active since um, Moss is out. But uh, not going to be able to run against Baltimore, so that's the extension of the run game is the screens and the little passes. Uh, it's my read. It's just one thing is going to happen. Uh, the other running back they just got, he should be in there for a few snaps. Uh, he's definitely a running running back. He doesn't catch the ball. So uh, all passes will go to Chase Brown, check downs, things like that. Baltimore has struggled against running backs in the receiving game. They are ranked 29th. Uh, so, yeah, let's get a Chase Brown receiving yards. Over on receiving, under on running. Rush. All right, Zay Flowers. Uh, I played at 59 and a half receiving yards over. As I'm looking now, they just dropped it to 49 and a half. Uh, it's like minus 188 on uh, Fandle, but uh, get it anywhere around there that you can. Uh, his last four out of the last five, he's had over 100 yards. Uh, if he doesn't get hurt, everything goes well. He should easily, easily clear 60. Uh, I was going to ladder it up to like 80 plus. They got it at like plus 300, but uh, they just decided to take it at the 50, 49. Uh, 59 and a half, 60. So I just, you know, they got him at four and a half, five receptions. Uh, he had some crazy catches last game. I can't see him not going over this. Uh, he's exceeded 50 for his last five, uh, averaging 95. So, you know what I mean? Uh, just get it at the best number you can where you feel comfortable. If you're betting a lot of money, take it at the 49 and a half. Uh, I do expect them to go over this. Yeah, so let's get it flower. All right, so uh, Deontay Johnson, he's a new receiver for Baltimore. Uh, just came over last game, well, last week. Uh, he had a couple reps last game. I don't think he had any targets, any receptions, ran a couple routes. Uh, he's had a, for another full week of practice. I think uh, he should be able to get a, at least a couple targets, try to get him acclimated. They, you know, they're trying to get this guy to help boost him in the playoffs and everything. Uh, a faded Bateman, I usually been playing him. Not that I don't think he'll get his receptions, but... Uh, they got his yards at like 25, and his receptions are juiced at two and a half, and he usually catches three or four a game, so they got to go somewhere. Um, I just think this is the only time we're going to get this number this low, and uh, hopefully you get one or two catches. They got his receptions juiced too. At least they did earlier. Yeah, one and a half minus 146, so they're trying to say – you know, realistically, he should get at least two catches, which would put him over. Let's see, our uh, Carolina was using using him, so give him a good QB. Should go over this. Uh, receiving yard uh, seventeen and a half. Let's get it. All right, so uh, then those are the four picks I have. But what I meant by line tricks in the beginning is said that. Uh, especially when you got single games, primetime games, uh, lines are crazy juice, crazy high all the time. As soon as the game starts, lines would come down. Uh, say the other team, whoever gets the ball first, the other team's lines would come up, especially if a guy misses a pass, uh, doesn't get a good run, a running back for that matter, the lines will start dropping. Uh, that's when you hammer them. There are a few other plays that I did like, uh, like this Justice Hill receiving yards I like. But uh, it just came out, actually. It hasn't been out all day. Um, the only had his touchdown props. I kind of feel comfortable with it at 16, 15 and a half. Uh, I just didn't bet it because I just noticed it. Uh, he is the receiving back. But the other play, there's two other ones. Um, Derrick Henry receiving yards. I've been playing. 
Now he only gets about one reception a game. If he gets it, he's going to go. If he catches it, he goes over this. They did just bring the number down to four and a half. It was at four or five, and then it went up to like six, seven. Uh, so I didn't play it, but it just came back down to four and a half. Uh, when the game starts. Now, he don't get a reception for a while. Usually in the red zone, they run a trick play where they won't run it to him, and then they'll end up throwing it. Uh, after a couple of plays, especially if the Baltimore got the ball, this number will go down to a half yard sometimes, or a point one, or, you know, or three yards, and bam, hammer it, because he is going to get that one reception eventually. Uh and go over this. As you see, those are receptions. Only two games so far he hasn't had one reception. Only one target, but one target, one reception, right? So he can catch the ball. As you see, the half reception, 10 of his last 12 games at home. So, yeah, look out for stuff like that. I'll try to drop in the community. Uh, another one is Burroughs rushing yards. Uh... He didn't go over this last time. Occasionally, he decides to run. Uh, it's a game of importance. I think he will run. I just want to get it a little lower. Uh, I think he'll get eight and a half. Say it's a third, you know, a second and fourteen or something. He's going to take off and try to get to that that yard marker. But as you see, he don't get many yards. So I want to wait till the game starts. Wait for this line to come down, and I'll jump on it. Uh, yeah, I'll try to drop in the community. If you could, hit that like button. If this worked out for you, subscribe. Let's turn on the notifications where you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. Uh, all sports, NBA coming out soon. Let's get it. East Money in the name, get paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs>